Hey there YouTubers. This will be the beginning of the second part of this uh, wool shawl or wool shawl wool scarf that I'm making. And so in this part I'll be showing you some of the weaving and we'll twist the fringes and you'll see the finished product. But before I start that in the previous video I was showing you how I was um, threading the heddles. What I didn't show you was the threading plan. So I'm gonna pause the video in a second and insert just a still picture of the threading plan and then after that I'm going to show you a still picture of the treadling plan except it's not a treadling plan because I don't use treadles on my table loom I use these levers on the top of it so instead of a treadling plan it's really called a lift plan and there is no tie up on this because each of the shafts gets listed in lifted individually with the levers that's why it's called a lift plan so I'll show you those things before I start showing you the weaving. Well, YouTubers, I am finally at the stage where I'm actually weaving on this scarf. In fact, I'm past the beginning of it stage. I, uh, because I'm using the small loom, I took this to um, the Oshkosh Trade Fair this last weekend and started the weaving there. But I didn't finish it there, so I'm at home. And I'm a little over half done with the weaving of the scarf. So now we just keep going for a little while. And I'll have a finished scarf. I know I've got you zoomed in really close. You can't see where I'm setting the shuttle down. You can't see what I'm doing with the um, levers for raising and lowering the uh, the shaft but um, you can hopefully see the the pattern developing in here and basically it's a it's a point twill and We're going to go this way now. So, anyways, this is the weaving. And I will show you more of this as I get closer to the end. Hmm. 
And here we go, time to change colors. So we'll take that one out. What I'm going to do, cut this off there. We got a little tag left over. Fix this thing so it comes out correctly. Change sheds. Go back like this. And now I'll start a new color. And that was the midpoint, so now I'm going to change directions and go back the other way. Get in this thing. Something up, we'll just fix. I missed my floating salvage over there last time. So that was two, three. I need to loosen. There we go. I'm going to change colors again. Now we're going to our slightly reddish tint. And we'll do two of these.
Well, there you go. That's enough for now. I'll uh, show you more when I get to the very end. Okay, we're all done weaving. Now it's time to get this off. I'm going to leave myself more than I need, a little bit more than I need for um, twisted fringes, but I can always adjust. And after I get the twisted fringes on both ends, I'll open it up completely and show you, but there we are for now. I think the colors look pretty decent. Okay, YouTubers, I'm uh, doing the twisted fringes. four threads per twist per set. So there's there's two threads. And we'll grab the next two. But if I get a piece of paper I can put under this so you can see it a little better since this is also dark. Okay, there we go. Two threads there two threads there. We grab the fringe twisting device. I've shown you this before, although it's been quite a while I think since I did a twisting fringes video. And now we count out 22 twists. That's what I figure seems to work best for the amount of length I've got here. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two. On clip. They're still perfectly open, but we tie a knot at the end, as close to the end as I can possibly get it. Now they're still separate. I don't know if you can see that. They're still separate. Well, watch when I let go. It all twists up and now it's twisted together. And I've done a couple, to three of them at this end. I've started, I'm starting this end going that way. And this is the first end. The other end of the scarf is down there. I'll have to do the same thing at that end. Then it gets wet finished and it'll be finally done. So that's the idea. I'm going to keep going with this. There's no point in you watching me do this a hundred times. Catch you in a little bit when I get to, uh, probably when I get all done and get it wet finished, I'll show it to you. That's all for now. Hey there, YouTubers. Well, this scarf project is finally done. I know I'm a bit away from the camera but I wanted you to be able to see the whole scarf as I wear it. So let me come a little bit closer and the lights not great back there anyways I'm too close to the window. So yes the scarf project is done. Um, I'll take it off and give you a nice up close look at it. I think it looked pretty neat. Um, I wasn't sure when I started if this color combination was going to work for me, but I think it did. Obviously it's the same on the other side. So there you go, you can see the pattern nice and close. 
it's it's there in the other colors but it really shows up in the gold especially where the gold and red intersect so that's the scarf project that I've been working on this it's obviously off the loom I twisted the fringes I've been known to do that on many projects and I wet finished the scarf which realistically amounts to uh, giving it a, a nice hand washing in the sink with a little bit of uh, dishwashing detergent is what I used some people use shampoo uh, about two or three minutes of a gentle hand washing in um, not cold but not hot water either kind of lukewarm a cool luke warm and then wring it out hang it up to dry for a day so that's the scarf project I don't know if you can see behind me but there there's already another project started on the loom I've probably woven about four inches into it it's a very small project but that's a discussion for another day so that's the uh, scarf project that you've been watching me work on for a week or two. You, it hasn't been a week or two for you, but it has been for me. So that's the magic of time on uh, videos. So we'll catch you the next time around when I get working on a weaving project, probably this one that I just started. If you like my videos, I would appreciate you subscribing if you haven't already. But hey. I'm not making money off this like a lot of people, so your choice. Watch if you want. Don't watch if you don't want. Meanwhile, until the next time around on YouTube, bye-bye.